Hello traders, welcome to the channel. I'm not going to do a very sophisticated intro. I'm just going to jump right to it because that's why you are here. Now we have two objects right here and you might have encountered this problem before whereas you're trying to bridge an object and you cannot bridge two objects that are not combined. So if you want to bridge something like this, let's say you choose the face. And, oh my god, I can't choose that face. That's because, well, they're not combined. If you have, if you select them both and hold down shift and right click you can actually combine them or if you have a 2018 which you should have at this point or otherwise slap yourself on the deck and go get it you have a combined tool right up here so now that they're actually combined you can choose face and face and then actually bridge them we're going to start with a typical bridge you know you can just select the two faces just like this and then you can hold down shift and right click and then you have bridge right there or you actually have bridge right here it's on poly modeling and this little thing which you right here and bam well, of course, you can actually select the wrong thing and select the back face like that and fuck your goddamn model up like I just did. Or you can do it the correct way, select the two phases, and bam, you have a bridge. Well, if you think we're done, you are wrong. The bridge tool is actually way more sophisticated than that. You can actually add divisions just like this. And what does that mean? Well, you can actually taper it. Whoa! Just like that, or you can actually twist it. You can add more divisions to it, and the more divisions you have to it, the more twisty well, spacey it gets. Another great thing with the bridge tool is that you don't actually need faces. I can just remove these two faces like this and you might have an open space like this. You can double click and just bridge between or you can actually select just like that and then bridge in between like that. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to show you another thing that a lot of people don't know, actually don't know about. All right, stay with me. Okay, control Z, we're back here. Select the top faces, just like that. Hold down shift, hold down right click, and then go down to the little box by bridge faces. Select the smooth path and curve, and then press bridge. And of course, this is gonna look like absolute shit, but you can see that there's actually a, a little bit of a curve here, right? So what you're gonna do right now is you, you're gonna add divisions, and bada bing, bada fucking boom, you have a gate. Isn't that amazing? That's absolutely amazing. And this is pretty much what you can do with the bridge tool. Of course, there's some times when you actually try to, you know, there's gonna be a gap like this and you're gonna be like, oh, well, I'm gonna try to bridge this. And it says, oh, you need, it, it has to be the same amount of edges and whatnot. Yeah, of course it's Maya, it's gonna be buggy, but what you can do then is you can actually do it like this. You can select an edge, um, go to the move tool, hold down shift, drag it downwards, just like that, all right? And then what you're gonna do is that you can actually select that edge to that edge and then you can just bridge the gap and then you can just remove that edge and then you have a closed hole. Easy as that. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want me to, you know, kind of spout or talk about a tool. Hey, I didn't tell you to fucking stay open. Just like that. All right. So if you want, if you want me to talk about another tool, just let me know down in the comment section and I'll look to it and I'll see you guys in the next one.